Hi, welcome to the Power in Motion YouTube channel. I'm Nick, and today we're talking about the iGo Chameleon. Part of iGo's Aspire series, this electric road bike is the first of its kind. Being able to handle the fast-paced nature of road cycling or the new and trendy style of gravel riding, this bike's gonna be capable of handling any kind of power output you need on the road or on gravel. So come ride with me today, and we'll find out more. Hi, welcome to the Power in Motion YouTube channel. We're out here in Princess Island Park today. The leaves are changing colors, the, the weather's getting a little bit cooler, and people are out for their lunchtime walks. It's a great park to sort of ride your bike around or you know just walk around and enjoy the scenery that this park offers. So today we're gonna be talking about the iGo Aspire Chameleon, iGo's brand new electric road bike designed to be ridden as a road bike or a gravel bike. Whether you're looking for that little extra boost to get up to speed or you're looking for that push up the hill, this bike is gonna offer that for any kind of rider looking to do their daily commute or their weekend ride. Going over some components of the Chameleon, we have the drop style handlebars, which are great for riding on the hoods with its plastic grips, as, which allows you to access the brakes easily as well as shift the gears. Now, if you want to get into a more aerodynamic position and to get a little more speed out of the bike, you can go into the drops of the bike, positioning your body in a more aerodynamic stance, allowing you to go faster and quicker especially when facing a strong headwind. Being I, one of iGo's brand new road bikes, it has a road bike style shifter and brake lever. Now these Shimano Sora brake levers and shifters are great for ease of use as well as braking power with a cable style brake which turns into a hydraulic caliper. With these Shimano Sora shifters, you push inwards towards the middle of the bike to do a full shift upwards and use a secondary paddle to push towards the middle as well to shift down making it easy to shift gears, whether you're climbing a hill or you're getting up to speed, the Shimano Sora shifters are gonna be great for getting you into that gear. Some important features to a road cyclist might be your speed, your distance ridden, your time ridden, and your trip. That's all shown on the brand new color display from iGo, allowing you to adjust your pedal assist on the fly and see your battery remaining on the display as well, making the bike very easy to use and very ergonomic in terms of its electronics. The iGo Chameleon comes standard with a 110 millimeter stem on the large and a 90 millimeter stem on the small size, allowing you to adjust the sizing of the bike by adjusting the spacers on the headset. Whether you're a taller and larger rider or a smaller and more aggressive rider, you're gonna be able to adjust this bike on the fly. Moving down through the bike, we have the aluminum fork. And on that fork is the brand new TRP hydraulic brake caliper. Now what's really interesting about this braking system on the bike is that it uses a cable style brake and a hydraulic caliper, allowing you to have the ease of maintenance for cable braking, but also the stopping power of a hydraulic brake. So on those steeper descents, you can stop easily and quickly. Moving on to the wheels of the bike, we have the Maxxis Overdrive XL tires, which are a 700C by 23 tire. With Silk Shield technology, this bike's gonna prevent any kind of sharp objects from puncturing your inner tube. Its aerodynamic style allows you to get up to speed quickly and reduce any kind of drag behind you. On those wheels are the 140 millimeter rotor in the front and 160 millimeter rotor in the back, allowing you to balance your stopping power, especially at those faster speeds. Moving on to the frame of the bike, the geometry of this bike is very interesting because it can be ridden like a road bike or also like a gravel bike. Whoa, stop right there. I thought this was a road bike, not a gravel bike. Well, you can do both with the Chameleon. It's a very versatile bike in that way. Coming stock with the Maxxis Overdrive XL tires, which are a 32C tire, making it thin, aerodynamic, and ready for pavement. But you can upgrade to something like the WTB Byways, which are sort of like an adventure style tire designed for gravel riding, which is a 44C tire. Now, not only does the tire add height to the rim, but it also adds width and tread to the tire. That's gonna offer a lot more traction on looser turns and you know dirt and loose gravel, whereas a typical road tire isn't gonna offer that kind of traction. Now, with that extra height on the tire, I can run lower tire pressures on this wheel, allowing me to have a lot more comfort and rolling resistance over stuff like roots, rocks, and dirt. It's just a matter of changing the tires out and having a great bike for both conditions. 
with its integrated battery. It makes it easy to remove the battery quickly and easily. With a simple twist of the key, the battery pops and it comes out like so. Now you can charge the battery on or off the bike and just to put it back in, it's as simple as putting it in the mount and pushing it back in, pulling the key out and it's locked to the frame. Moving on to the transmission of the bike, we have the Shimano Sora derailleur in the front and rear of the bike. With a two speed in the front and a nine speed in the back, it has a great range of gearing, offering up to 18 speeds on the bike. It has a great hill climbing gear as well as its top speed gear, allowing you to climb hills easily and get up to speed rapidly. This bike's gonna get you where you need to go quickly. With its 170 millimeter cranks and its flat style pedal stock, this is a bike I would recommend going to clipless allowing you to get those strong rotations out of the bike and getting a lot more power out of the transmission. Moving on to the saddle of the Chameleon, it has a very standard road style saddle, allowing you to pump out a lot of power and offer a little bit of comfort on those longer commutes. Speaking to some of the electronics on the iGo Aspire Chameleon, it has a 36 volt, 10.4 amp hour battery, allowing you to get a range of anywhere from 50 to 90 kilometers on one charge. It has the brand new iGo Bluetooth controller, allowing you to program the bike on the fly with its brand new iGo Connect app. So if I want this bike to be programmed differently, whether I want it in the standard, economy, or sport mode, if I want to go faster, I'm gonna put it in sport mode and just ride the bike at the top speed of the 32 kilometers an hour. This app also allows you to change the acceleration delay, allows you to check your speed, your voltage, you know, how much time you have left on the battery and stuff like that. Everything that's in the display is also on the phone. One of the really great things that iGo did on the Chameleon is add a torque sensor to their bike. Now, what that does is it applies power a lot more naturally to the 250 watt motor, allowing you to accelerate easily and naturally with the power being put out based on how hard you're pedaling and not if you're pedaling. Moving on to the motor of the bike, we have the 250 watt Bafang geared hub motor. Now this motor may be small in wattage, but it can put out upwards of 45 newton meters of torque, allowing you to get up to speed quickly and climb hills powerfully. With its lightweight build, it makes the rest of the bike much easier to get around. So to summarize, the iGo Aspire Chameleon is a great lightweight e-bike, but also a great road bike. Whether you're looking for something that's capable on pavement and gravel, this bike is gonna offer a great acceleration as well as hill climbing capability. With that 250 watt motor and the torque sensing uh, on the pedal assist, it's gonna apply power naturally and quickly. So that's the iGo Chameleon, part of iGo's Aspire series. This brand new electric road bike is great for pavement and gravel usages. With its 250 watt motor, it's gonna get you up to speed and up those hills quickly. With its 36 volt, 10 amp hour battery, get anywhere from a 50 to 90 kilometer range, depending on how hard you're using the battery. If you have any questions about the iGo Chameleon or wanna know more, feel free to contact us at powerinmotion.ca. Thanks for riding with me today and have a great one.